Here in our second lecture, we talk about an effective coupling reagent known as COMU. Our reported results demonstrate that COMU is superior to other available coupling reagents. COMU contains a morpholinium based aminium moiety, which adjusts the polarity of the molecule and enhances solubility and stability. The morpholino group also acts as an internal base, allowing the equivalence of external base to be reduced to one. In addition, COMU contains the oxima leaving group, which has been shown to inhibit rismization by El Fahim and co workers. It is important to note that the oxygen in the aminium structure increases the stability of COMU relative to other tetramethyl derivatives. Since COMU lacks the benzotriazole moiety, a predictable autocatalytic decomposition is not observed. We have observed a significant increase in yield when COMU was used over HA2. This yield increase is attributed to the fact that COMU is in the more reactive uranium or O form. Originally, we attempted to couple 5 amino tetrazole via the acid chloride. The amide bond was formed, however, the chloride cation rapidly attacked the epoxide, leading to the undesired ring open product in quantitative yield by LCMS. Realizing 5 amino tetrazole is a very poor nucleophile, we then screened several common coupling reagents utilizing different solvents and temperatures. We observed trace amounts of desired product and mostly starting material when coupling with CDI or HOBTDCC. We then examined the coupling with T3P, which showed decomposition. When we attempted to couple through an activated ester, we observed no reaction or undesired product formation. Since the silane material was carried forward as crude, chloride ion was present from the tetrabutyl dimethyl silyl chloride. We solved this problem by substituting tetradibutyl methyl silyl triflate for tetrabutyl dimethyl silyl chloride. Uh, this route was discontinued due to the results we started to obtain with COMU. When we used the gold standard coupling reagent, HATU, we only isolated 30% desired product after reverse phase purification. When we turned our attention to COMU, we isolated 94% desired product after reverse purification. The COMU result was repeated and showed similar results on scale. Here we report our results with the highly efficient third generation uranium type coupling reagent, COMU. COMU has demonstrated superior yield relative to all other well-known coupling reagents, such as HA2. In addition, COMU lacks the potentially explosive benzotriazole moiety exhibited in other coupling reagents. It allows little to no racemization. It forms easy to remove water-soluble byproducts, is highly stable and soluble in common organic solvents, and can be monitored via calorimetry. These advantages make COMU an ideal reagent for both solution and solid phase peptide synthesis. Uh, so next time you have to make an amide bond or a peptide, I highly recommend you try COMU. It's uh, relatively cheap and highly effective. Thank you.